Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. Uh, today we're doing a disassembly video. Uh, we're working on a Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series. The exact model number for this unit is a 5368. Uh, but this should be helpful with any of the 5000 series uh, for Dell Inspiron 13. So first thing you want to do in most disassemblies is take off your, your bottom case. There's going to be three, six, nine screws. Three on this side, three on this side, two here, one in the middle. They've already been taken off. This is a, a salvage computer, so they've already been re removed. Uh, usually there may be some screws underneath your rubber feet. There are none in this. Um, but if it doesn't pop off easily, it's always a good thing to check. You're gonna wanna take your pry tool. And you're gonna go under this seam right there. The seam goes all the way across. And pop that, pop that up. All right, set that off to the side. Uh, this is gonna look different than yours. We're we're missing some pieces because again, it is a salvage computer. So the first thing you're gonna take off is your battery. It's gonna go right here. Uh, it's gonna connect in there. So you're gonna unplug that, and it's gonna have some screws holding it down. Uh, so you want to take off any screws that are holding your battery down, unplug it, set it to the side. Uh, you also have your hard drive. It's going to be located here. As you can see, this is your hard drive connector cable. Uh, so your hard drive is going to plug into that, and the caddy will be screwed down here. So unscrew your caddy, unplug your hard drive, set that to the side if you're disassembling it. If you're just changing your hard drive, you would just take the hard drive out of the caddy, put the new one in, and then re-plug it into your connector. Uh, the RAM over here, you have two RAM ports, so you, it's possible to have two RAM sticks or, or just one. Uh, like most RAM, you pull these little pins apart, the RAM stick should just pop up, and then you would just slide it out. RAM's pretty easy to get out. Pull this one apart, pull that one apart, the RAM stick will pop up, and you slide it out. Uh, now to get to some other things, you have your speakers here. As you can see, they're not screwed down. Uh, they're held down by sticky tape, and they're plugged in there. So if you're removing your speakers, uh, don't pull on the wire. Pull on the little white tabs. Pull that out, and then be careful with your speakers because um, they're easily broken. You see it's held down by a bunch of tape. More tape. 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 The speaker comes out. Actually, that was really easy. There's no tape down there. They're just held in by cushions. Uh, right here, you're going to have your heat sink and your fan. Actually, let's take this out first. It's easier. It's your Wi-Fi card. You can see there's a little, little harness with one screw there and some wires. So we're going to unscrew that harness. Don't lose this because huh, you need that to put your Wi-Fi card back in. Unplug your Wi-Fi card. Unplug the antenna. Oh, this one's broken. Uh, so if you're swapping that out, put that aside, these are your antennas. Uh, again, your hard drive connectors right there, if you're looking to replace that, there's a tab right here. I'm just going to pull that tab up, I like putting this in there, give me a little extra leverage. It just pops right up. Uh, down here you had an LED board. It's a little light. Who knows what it was, probably when the computer starts up it flashes, but that's a little LED board. It plugs in here. Uh, then you have your motherboard cable here. Let's take that out. I'll show you how to take this ribbon cable out safely. It, it kind of applies to all, all the clips. Um, when there's a ribbon cable coming in, there's a little black bar here. You put your nail into there and pop it up. And then you just slide this out. I always put these back down because they break easily, but that's how that comes off. I'll show you again. You just take this black bar, pop it up slides right out. Pretty easy. Alright, so let's go back to your heat sink and your fan. Your fan looks like it's got two screws. We'll undo both of those. Magnetized screwdrivers always help. These screws are tiny and they're hard to pick up. Uh, and then your heat sink has four screws, as usual. Sometimes the heat sink screws come out, sometimes they don't. So. 
of the heat sink, that is. All right, so fan comes up and, it, and it's plugged in. Again, don't just pull it. Uh, take these white tabs, pull those white tabs out, and then your heat sink will come right up. That protects your CPU. Uh, this is your motherboard. This looks like a USB port here, as well as some other things. Your CMOS battery is also plugged into this port. If you're looking to swap out your CMOS battery, this is where it is. Again, don't pull it. Pull the white tab out. Uh, this is your power button on the side of this. So this would be your power button board if for any reason you're going to take that out. It's held on by one screw it looks like, but they're going to take that one screw out. And then it's got some tabs, so gently just pop that up. It goes over to your USB board, pull out that tab again. That's your power board, plugged into that port. Now with, uh, with this, let's take this uh, cable connecting this to the motherboard out. This is a little more tricky. There's a bar right there. See this little plastic tab? It's kind of your handle to this bar that swells back and forth. So you're going to pull that bar up, and then this thing should just slide out. Uh, same thing over here. That thing should just slide right out. This is held on by a couple different screws. Your USB port board. It's probably called something else, but... It's got a USB port, so that's what I'm calling it. That board comes right out pretty easily. This is a pretty easy computer to take apart. Uh, now we got the motherboard. Motherboards usually have screws all over them, so go nice and slow. Make sure you got all of them. It's easy to miss. And you don't want to break the motherboard, obviously, if you're salvaging these parts or whatever you're disassembling this for. Okay, I think I got all of my screws. Let's see if it comes out at all. Yep, okay. I have something still plugged in here. So again, like we've seen, pull out those white brackets. There you go. That freed up my motherboard. Slide it out gently. Ah, I'm still stuck. Okay, yeah, there's another thing here. Same as that one we looked at. It's got a... Let me get my flathead out here. It's got a metal uh, beam that comes across. Flip that up. And pull that right out. Now what you didn't see is this connector right here. On this motherboard, there should have been another port right here that this slid into. It's not going to be like this metal one. It's going to slide in more like a ribbon cable. That should have been right there. So you need to un unplug that as well. So this motherboard is now free. Put that off to the side. Building up quite a collection of parts over there. Uh, then you got this board here. If you were, I'm just going to keep this here. There's no reason for me to take that LED board out right now. Um, actually, there is. I'm going to take out the uh, touchpad if you're placing that. So again, with these ribbon cables, pop that up. Slide it out. Put it back down. All right. So if you're going to address your uh, touchpad, let's unplug it from this sideboard. Pop that thing up. Slide it out. You don't have to take this out, but it's just better to remove things so you don't break them. Uh, you got a ton of screws here. One, two, three, four. And then you got two more screws down here hold, holding this in. We may not have to take that out to get your testbed out, so let's see. Let's unscrew these top ones. And then as you can see, it's not just screws, but it's this tape stop holding it down. So, take my flathead, rip that up, yeah. yeah. All right, Let's see if we can pop that up now. Yep, so that slides it out. We didn't necessarily have to take out that board. So you just slide it up, slide it out, there's your touchpad. Uh, so now, looks like we have this pretty much disassembled. Uh, we're going to want to take apart, we're going to want to take off the LCD assembly now. So, I could unscrew this right here, unscrew these hinges, but then my palm rest is kind of stuck under there. So I like opening it up a little bit, let's say halfway. 
Uh, now I like taking these off this way just because it's easier to take out. So it looks like each hinge has two screws. Make sure when you're taking your last screw out, you got some support there so it doesn't just fall down and break something. All right, so there's your palm rest that's been uh, pretty much disassembled. Um, you can put that off to the side if you're looking to replace your palm rest. Now we get your LCD assembly. Uh, usually here at Point Tech, we stop disassembly at this point. Um, if we're selling this computer off for parts, we usually sell this as one assembly because uh, it's pretty difficult to get in there. Uh, so if for any reason you are looking to get in there, just be very careful. Uh, you're going to need to use your pry tool up under here. Let me see that. Yeah, we usually don't go this far because it's a pain in the butt and it's very easy, easy to break stuff. So we'll stop the video there. If you have any questions and, and you do want to take this apart for whatever reason, let's say you want to swap out your video cable um, or, or your hinges um, or even your LCD, uh, send us a message and we can give you some pointers on it. Uh, but that is how you would disassemble a Dell Inspiron 13 uh, 5000 series. Specific model was 5368. Uh, this is Jamin from Point Tech. Thank you very much.